What we're seeing in economy is a lack of restraint. It's frenzied and out of control. And what I saw is that we needed to go back to the fundamentals of family, of community, of faith that normally keep economy in balance. That's what Return to Order is all about. It's a book about the future. We look at the present economic crisis and then we propose real solutions based on timeless principles. If you don't know what the real problem is, we can fix our economy. We can attempt to fix our economy. And I think we're never going to fix it until we get to the real problem. And the real problem, of course, is simply that we have lost the values of Western civilization. We've lost those ethics and we've lost all of those things which ultimately play into an economy. Every time I read it, I get a little bit emotional. I'm sorry, that's just the way it is. It's extraordinary. It's extraordinary. We're being forced to look at solutions that point to honesty, sacrifice, integrity, that should be the heart and soul of any economy. Everyone's talking about going back to free markets, but nobody's talking about the source from which those markets came. No one's talking about that framework of order, which gives the, the confidence and trust that make free markets possible. Return to Order talks about this. This book is a self-help book for every American who wants to not only save the economy, save America, but save his sanity as well. Who would think that a book on the economy would actually be dynamic? What I want the readers of the book to do is to enter into the debate about the future of our country. Our attitude of soul, I believe, needs to be an attitude of a warrior, an attitude of heroism, an attitude of self-sacrifice. Even if we lose personally, we need to do this, always in a legal and peaceful way, but we need to do this and we need to fight back. And if we do that as a country, if we convince our compatriots to do that, I have no doubt that God will bless our endeavors and we will be victorious.